最後一拳手嚟嘅，高級啲嘅技術，又試下加上啲。Well done, but we're not done yet. Your next opponent is on the north side.
Well then, but I think you need uh, a bit more of a challenge, so... Captain Tom is coming towards you, and if you beat him, we promise you that this will be your last fight for today. Chapter 3 is descending to 120 feet. You've made yourself a lot of money today. As a matter of fact, your money will be waiting for you on the chopper, which will take you to your camper. I gotta do what I gotta do. Mr. Longstreet. I'm not gonna pull any punches with you. She could still leave us. Her coma is a result of a massive trauma. Her body shut down. She wakes up. Tell her she said yes. I'm tired of this life. And every time I try to live a normal life, someone close to me dies.
together for passion and ginger. Another night of great, sexy fun and action. He's down there! Go! Go! Get going!
Thank you for saving me. I have to get away from here. I've got to take this call. Okay. What happened? We lost her. We lost her to the guy on the beach. A guy? Just one guy? Yeah, we got to see this guy. I think he's as good as Webb. Nobody's as good as Webb. Well, this guy's something else, uh... Listen to me! That girl could finger my establishment, my fighters, and me. I don't want to see any of your faces again until you have our ass back here alive. I will take care of you. Damn it! Hey, leave me alone. Just go home. Leave me alone. Just go. Go, 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 go. I don't have a home. Everyone has a home. Some people just refuse to leave there. Look, just let me hide out here for a little while. Then I'll go. Leave me alone. Just go. Go! If you're betting on web, the 
great chips. The Warriors, the blue chips. Excuse me, sir. You go home. Please let me stay a few more days, please. Come on, I'll do anything for you. do something. Yes, we'll take care of it. Don't worry about it, sir. Good to meet you, dude. Bob. Bob, you need to get in better shape, Bob. I'm working on it. Yeah. Hey, Sean, here we go. Hey, yeah, you guys uh, see this uh, guy around here? He's like six feet. He's got a little kind of dark hair, a little gray in the back. Wears black shoes like you. <laughs> <laughs> wear fancy shoes like you. Everybody's got to wear an outfit, dude. All right, well, listen. You guys want to help out? What's it, what do we get out of it? Yeah. What do you want? Come on. Five grand. Five grand. <laughs> Five grand. Yeah, last time I got 10G. <laughs> You're 
dreaming, pal. All so right, listen, I gotta go. I got here. three thousand bucks for you. You want it, you take it. Otherwise, I'm out of here. Three thousand? Hey, 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 we'll hey, hey. Take it. Yeah. Come on back. Hey, we'll take it. <laughs> oh, so take it. Okay, okay. All right. Well, hey, man. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. You guys, bring this guy in. I need him alive. He drowns. He drowns, and you lose everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Three thousand bucks. Yeah. Okay. Who's gonna hold the money? I'll take it. I'll take it. Now these guys are my children. I'm the father around here. And you look like a dad. But since I'm in charge, I'll hold the money. You deliver the guy. <laughs> All right, man. All right, get him. I want him alive. Okay. Santa Monica has been screaming about her dead husband to authorities here. So? She says he joined a nightclub where they hold bare knuckle brawls. Fighting circuit in a club. According to her, her husband was killed in the ring. But with no body, I mean, maybe he just didn't want to come home. Do you know where this club is? No, not yet. You'll keep me posted? Absolutely. Oh, yes, great night, Stuart, great. One second. Uh, Americanus, Milan, could you just check the perimeter? Thank you. No, I'm very, very happy. Um, the trouble is, is you're too good, though. So we've got to, you've got to play with the other team. I want people betting on your opponents because you're just too good at the moment. So if you can just like, play with them. yeah.
You have the picture, yes? Yes, sir. This is Cole Shack. Are you here to talk about my husband? Yes, ma'am. May we come in? It's about time. We're hoping that you could point us in the right direction. Have you ever been to one of these fights? No, I've never been. Have you seen this man at any time? You mind if we sit down? How long had your husband been going to these fights? About a year. anybody who goes through my stuff. I just did it to say thank you. You drink coffee? Yeah, so? So? There you go. Milk? That's for children. <laughs> Why don't you look at yourself in the mirror? Well, let's start over. My name is Sherry Windover. Nice to meet you, Sherry. Well? What, what? It would only be polite for you to say your name. <laughs> oh, yeah? How did you stay here last night after you got me into a fight? I think I've been extremely polite. Hmm? You know your name Sherry means darling in French? Mais tu sais bien, Faucon, Sherry n'est pas. You speak very well. I took French classes in elementary. I don't think it's safe for you to stay here. You know those guys that were looking for you? Well, if they come back, you'd have big problems. Yeah. My name is Dirk. Nice to meet you, Dirk. I'm sorry I got you into this.
Send me Susie, the accountant. Don't touch that. Hey, I didn't mean any harm. Here's the gate receipts, Mr. Ventura. We pulled in 3.1 million last week. You're happy with these numbers? We used to clear five million a week. Now we barely get four in an entire month. Octavio, you have to realize people have been coming here watching Webwood for the last eight months. They're bored. Then we need to get them excited. We're running out of fighters. Maybe we should just cut our losses and leave. That coal shack woman told the cops about Webb killing her husband. They have no body. She can't prove a thing. Now get out! Get out! Don't touch my things. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I don't like people going for my things. Was she your wife? Don't really want to talk about it, almost. So what happened? She was murdered. I'm sorry, Dirk. Did you ever find the people who did it? Yeah, I found it. Is that why you live out here by yourself? You're wanted by the police? No, I'm not wanted by the police. I live by myself because I don't want anybody else to get hurt. Is it okay if I stay here one more night? No. <laughs> I promise I'll go. I have an aunt somewhere in Boston. I'll make my way there. All right, look, I don't have any room for you. What was her name? Nicole. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry too. Why are we here? We gotta find out where that little shit would go. She wasn't with Surfer Boy this morning, so maybe she's got some friends. Hey! What the hell are you guys doing here? <laughs> and how old are you? 18. Get to school or go to a movie or something. Come on, come on. Hey, out. Come out. Out. Get out of here. You are one sick puppy, lamb. It's a free country. Uh, Flex! Is she related to you or something? Your stepdaughter escaped. Octavio wants her back. We're gonna need some leads. We need your help. <laughs> you lost her? <laughs> You're not gonna help us? We're gonna need that money back. Fuck you! Losing that bitch is your problem. No, yeah. Okay. I sold her fair and square. <laughs> you fool! Came and hold on to a little girl. Bill? AJ? 
Jen Sykes. Come up a uh, negative on your friend Longstreet. That's impossible. He's off the grid. He's nowhere, he's dead. He's not dead. Well, unless he gets pulled over by the cops, creates some kind of public disturbance, we're never gonna find him. Public disturbance? No, he's a master of that. You'll find him. You wanna take over? Sure. So when my dad died, my mom married this moron, Will Lamp. When she was killed in a car accident, Will got custody. If he wasn't trying to fondle on me, he was trying to beat on me. He was a big time gambler over at this club in Sunset, the side of death. He lost big one night, really big. He didn't even think twice. Twice about what? He sold me. Sold me for a cool 15 grand. Kept the 9,000 for himself. <sighs> Listen, Dirk, I have a friend who's a cop. He can help you. He can help get your brother out. How do you know? Nicole Kent, your partner. Relax, boss. Dirk has total confidence in me. So what do you want us to do? We're gonna come back tonight. That sounds good. Let's go, come on. Are you sure you don't want me to sleep outside? It's getting too dangerous. We better go now. Okay? Okay, good night. Good night.
gentlemen our final match of the evening is coming up you asked for them we got them you love them your champion the undisputed undefeated unstoppable Stuart the May I come in? Octavia, we've really got things going now. We've got to forget this girl. I don't remember asking for your opinion. Stick to your job, keeping our customers happy.
How'd you feel? I guess I'm okay. It's my first time getting shot. But one way to put up soon. You just have to wait for the opportunity, okay? Opportunity? What do you mean? Just trust me. What if they come back? Don't worry, they're done with their business. Isn't this illegal? I guess so. Now let's see your arm. You're bleeding too much. I'm gonna have to take the bullet out. Okay. Okay? Vodka, sure. It's going to hurt. So be strong. I want you to bite on this. And you know if you make any noise, they might find us. So I want you to do your best, okay? Look over there. Agent Sykes, oh my god, I'm glad to see you. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm okay. Just my muscles are so weak, I feel like jello. We haven't used them for a year. Sykes, where am I? The FBI took you into protective custody after the second attempt on your life by Pike's men. We didn't want any more attempts on your life, so the FBI made sure everyone thought you were dead. So when's Dirk coming to see me? 
Nicole thinks you're dead. We all thought you were dead. But Dirk wouldn't have believed it unless he... Well, just tell him. Tell him I'm okay and tell him to come and get me. When I found out you were alive, I tried to find Dirk. But he's gone. So he still thinks I'm dead? We, we gotta find him. I've got two of my best men working on it right now. Mr. Octavio? She got away. So I hear. Where's Rivers? He's too embarrassed to come in. Who the hell is this guy? I don't know. I told you he was good. I think he's better than Webb. That's quite a statement. Do you think you could catch him alive? Yeah, if we find the girl, they have a little bond. I bet you he'd do anything for her. Where is he now? I don't know. We burned up his place. I got my eyes out in the motel district. A uh, solid guy like him and a wounded girl shouldn't be hard to find. Wounded? Yeah, but it isn't fatal. She's alive. I want this guy brought back here. Alive. If you kill him, then you might as well put a gun to your own head. Save me the trouble. Okay. 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 I got it. I got it. Alive. On second thoughts, I'll send someone more competent.
long street. I'm not gonna pull any punches with you. She could still leave us. Her coma is a result of a massive trauma. Her body shut down. Oh, you know the rules, Dirk. You want a shot at the champ, you win your way to the top. Officials will not confirm rumors that the man is traveling with the teenage girl, who may be the recent Laurel Canyon kidnapping case. Channel 5 has learned that this is not the first incident involving the unidentified man. Area residents say that they have witnessed several attacks against the occupants of this van by unknown assailants. It may be days, even weeks, before the police can piece together the clues to what happened here last night. Okay. But the key to this mystery seems to lie with the man they're calling Street Monk. Pauline Richards, Channel 5, Action News. You got one minute. Sherry. Dirk, I 
I'm sorry. I just went to get some water. It's okay. They would have found us anyway. So what are we going to do now? I'm going to get you out of here. Now? No, not now. But um, I have to take care of a few things first. Sometimes life gives you a gift. And no matter how hard I try to avoid it, it won't leave me alone. So I'm not going to avoid it anymore. How's it on? Send me Susie. We have a very special treat for you tonight. We have a hero from the training circuits of years past who's decided to come out of retirement for one more match. Yeah! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the world champion, Dirk Lundstrom! Right now, 
as we crank it up just a little bit. Pink and sexy for you. What do you think of this one? Woo! If you wanted to see me, sir, you didn't have to send your gorilla. You can go. Who gave you permission to let Longstreet see the girl? Sir? Why? I made an executive decision. This isn't a corporation, you arrogant bitch! Nothing gets done without my say-so! Understood. What's this? Severance. What? You're gone. I no longer require your assistance. Oh. Wasn't this the point when the goons come in and blow me away? Nope. Now crawl away into a hole. I never want to see your face again. Let's go. Gentlemen, we present the world champion, Kirk Just got a tip from LAPD. 
I would like to be there. Otherwise, he won't give in. Absolutely. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a fight for you. Coming up, stick around for it. World champion, Dirk Longstreet. Okay, guys, place your bets.
mean I have to go shave. I don't go out and get arrested. Where will you go? I don't know. It's a big country. But you know what? I'll be fine. You promised to come back. I promise we'll see each other again. I try to do the right thing. Those close to me always pay the price. We searched for Dirk everywhere. We can't find him. He's disappeared. Nothing? Nothing. Like a ghost. I don't know. You gonna be okay? Take it easy. Thank you. He didn't tell you where he's going. He just said it's a big country. He really loves you, Nicole. I'm sure if he knows you're alive, he'll come back. You want to help me? Help you? Help you with what? I'm going to need an assistant now. I need to get back on my feet. You mean live with you? Till we find Dirk? And maybe a little longer? Welcome to the family. <laughs> a rolling stone gathers no moss, so a man on the run will gather no friends. This is the only way I can guarantee those I love will always be safe. I was once a champion of combat, but now I'm just known as a street monk. If you're on the wrong side of the law, you better hope I don't come to your town.